Uh, good afternoon. My name is Nick Joseph. I'm with IBM. I'm a client executive here in the Houston market. I've worked with many of you here in the room over the last few years, so I'm really excited to be here. Uh, our disruptive technology that we're going to talk about today has to do around cognitive. How many of you have heard about IBM Watson? Fantastic. The marketing machine is working well. Okay, so our cognitive solutions are based on the premise that you can ingest data of all kinds. It's not just the structured or unstructured, it's actually both. And that's what enables the machines to understand the data, to learn from that data, and then also to reason through the information as it's, as it's coming in. And that can be ha happening in real time or in a, in a post-process environment. Um, we see this where clients are saying, and, and this is more of an IT perspective, not necessarily pure HPC, but it, it does cross over. You gotta do more with what you have today, especially in an environment of low oil. But this crosses over into um, a, a demand from the business to bring out new capabilities, create new markets, and create new sources of revenue. So I often see clients that have been at behaving in a very traditional manner that are saying, I need to monetize that data that we've collected over the last 30, 40 years and do something different with it. Whether that's predictive maintenance, whether that is creating a, a, a stream where you can sell that data to a third party, it's all under consideration and all, all things are uh, on the table. And lastly, they're all being challenged, as you, as you know, to be a disruptor and an innovator in the industry. So no big shocks there. So I talked about Watson. We have uh, a big push in the industry for digitalization of all the data that, that exists out there. Big data and analytics is a, a strong component. Cybersecurity is something that we cannot overlook. And then the, the whole idea of being uh, more aware of what you think you know and applying it to what you need to know. Because that gap between what you know and what you don't know is the unknown. <laughs> Am I good or what, huh? <laughs> I had my Wheaties. So at IBM, bringing it back to HPC, our strategy is applicable to the oil and gas, life sciences, and the material science and uh, research environments. Many of you are familiar with our power clusters based on the RS6000 platform that's been in place for many years. Uh, it is a, a solid platform, and in fact, many of the enterprises run their ERP systems on there as well. We have many deals, uh, or without going into the commercial, but we're in talks with many environments to use the power cluster for HPC seismic exploration. And this ties into your data analytics, BI, and financial analytics environments. Okay. And it all lends itself to the big word, cognitive. Oh, where are you? There you go. So you've seen this presentation in the uh, uh, just the overall HPC world, get value from your applications, optimize that workflow, and somehow it's got to tie into a world of artificial intelligence. The world of doing more with less is extremely important, and it's applicable to the environment we live in today. So AI, I don't see this, based, again, based on what I'm talking to my clients about, as a replacement for human resources. I see it as an augmenter. And there's plenty of examples from the life sciences and uh, health community where they're using this to make better decisions. And I think I'm getting the hook. We invest a lot of money in innovation, $6 billion. And we've got a poster outside. Thank you. 